They said we were going to Skills USA. They never said that the skills we had were in karaoke. Bipolar Stickman presents. Alright, so I took a two day vacation to Skills USA, and let me tell you, it was a pretty interesting trip, but not necessarily because of the whole competition thing. The bus ride down was basically getting to know everybody, having a fun time, singing, dancing, kind of like this. Or this. In case you were wondering, yes, that was a short bus. In fact, it was the shortest short bus in Maine. You see, most short buses have five windows. Ours had four. Segway. I went to Skills USA for advertising, and that was really fun and all, but the teacher who was going to be doing the competition for advertising had pneumonia. I'm not sure if it was pneumonia. It was some sort of sickness, and either way, she was gone. Our competition wasn't what it was supposed to be. What ended up happening was our competition didn't get canceled, but it got changed to the point where it wasn't the same competition at all. It was something very different. The competition that they gave us was, instead of giving us a bunch of pictures, they gave us one picture. We all had to use the same picture. They gave us a logo, and we just had to throw everything on an advertisement and submit it. So that's what we all did. And luckily, one of the people from our school got gold, which is really awesome. After we were done with skills, we got dropped off at the mall. The teachers were like, okay, everybody go find something to eat. There isn't a food court in the Bangor Mall for some reason. So what we ended up doing was walking in the rain to Wendy's and eating there. There was a dance at Skills USA opening night, right after opening ceremony. So we went to the dance. I went there having already drank in one liter of Coke. One liter of Coke, empty. I filled it with a Java Monster. I was drinking that while dancing. The song that was on that I was dancing to was Skrillex, so I basically looked like I was convulsing. So that was fun. I ended up puking half the night. Apparently, Java Monster, when you vomit it, it looks like chocolate syrup. So at the dance, I found out a new song existed. It's called The Cupid Shuffle. For some reason, like, I haven't heard this song ever in my entire life. Apparently, it's really old or not as new as I think it is. I didn't even know the song existed until Thursday, but apparently the Cupid Shuffle is like a thing. So they played it and everybody got into like a formation on the dance floor and I was all like, is this the electric slide or something? The Macarena, the chicken dance, what's going on here? And then they're all like, to the right, to the right. And I'm like, um, what? Everybody's like shuffling, but I figured it out and I danced to the Cupid Shuffle for the first time. I don't know if that would be an achievement, but ding. You know what else is an achievement? This. Bring no strangers to love. <laughs> you know the rules, and so do I. 